This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture. So, you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The people are watching a presentation. B. Some books are being placed on a cart. C. The people are kneeling in front of a shelf. D. The people are visiting a library. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The women are facing each other. B. The women are walking together. C. One of the women is removing an item from her purse. D. One of the women is drinking from a coffee cup. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. One of the men is emptying out a plastic bag. B. They're waiting in line at a checkout counter. C. One of the men is pointing at some flowers. D. They're selecting some fruits and vegetables. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. Some plants have been arranged in a row. B. The woman is leaning against a windowsill. C. Some cabinets have been opened at a workstation. D. The woman is reading a billboard. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A house overlooks a fishing pier. B. Ducks are swimming in a lake. C. A bridge crosses over a river. D. Some trees border a pond. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. One of the women is picking up a suitcase. B. One of the women is holding a notebook under her arm. C. One of the women is standing in the doorway. D. One of the women is posting a sign on the wall. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven Where is the parking garage? 
A. The local park is nice. B. Behind the office building. C. During his commute to work. Number 8. When will the design team meet? A. No, I ordered five. B. Sometime next month. C. On top of the cabinet. Number 9. Should we consider Anita for the accountant position? A. Yes, we're reviewing her application now. B. Down the hall to the right. C. The box is open. Number 10. What are they building near the shopping center? A. On the 18th floor. B. An apartment complex. C. I shop there on the weekends. Number 11. How did you like the meal? A. I like that idea. B. By taxi cab. C. It was excellent. Number 12. Why did the manager email you? A. Yes, I'm sure. B. Because she wants me to work late. C. Do you have any stamps? Number 13. Will the prototype be ready in time for the trade show? A. That's a wonderful TV show. B. Yes, it'll be finished. C. It's in Chicago this year. Number 14. Our office building is locked on the weekends, isn't it? A. Write down Franklin Boulevard. B. Just bring your employee badge. C. To visit with some friends. Number 15. Can't you deliver both of these orders during the same trip? A. It arrived in good condition. B. Actually, we had a very nice trip. C. Sure, they go to the same part of town. Number 16. Do you want to purchase a laptop or desktop computer? A. I have the model number here. B. Yes, in the top drawer. C. At the new furniture store. Number 17. What did you think of the company newsletter? A. About two pages long. B. It had some interesting articles. C. Please seal the envelope. Number 18. Can I help you move your furniture? A. He bought a desk last week. B. I think I can manage on my own. C. The furniture store on Grove Street. Number 19. Why did Mr. Harrison resign from his position? A. Two weeks ago. B. It's just been signed. C. He found a different job. Number 20. Which client are we meeting with tomorrow morning? A. They talked about the upcoming merger. B. Just a light breakfast. C. The Greendale Company representative. Number 21. Weren't those light bulbs replaced recently? A. Yes, we just changed them. B. Actually, this isn't very heavy. C. It's on 4th Street. Number 22. Who knows how to start the conference call? A. Alyssa can do it. 
B. The conference registration fee. C. Yes, we've got them all. Number 23. What should I do with the extra training materials? A. Leave them on my desk. B. No, they shouldn't. C. Around 4 30. Number 24. It's raining quite hard outside. A. With an umbrella. B. I can drive you to the store. C. Yes, that was difficult. Number 25. How many servers do we need waiting tables on Saturday? A. Yes, you can leave it on the floor. B. At 11 o'clock. C. We have a party of 25 coming in. Number 26. George, will you call our clients back? A. The information pack. B. Yes, she'll be back soon. C. Anna left them a message. Number 27. Our quarterly sales results were lower than expected. A. It's an easy hiking trail. B. We do have a new competitor. C. A quarter of an hour. Number 28. When do you want to work on this new project? A. I haven't been trained yet. B. Yes, he got a full-time job. C. I completely agree with you. Number 29. I'll be happy to take pictures at the company retreat. A. Some coffee and desserts. B. Yes, a digital camera. C. They hired a photographer. Number 30. These all weather tires are very expensive. A. A 15 minute drive. B. They'll last for a long time. C. Let me turn it on for you. Number 31. Why aren't the trainees in the computer lab now? A. Didn't you get a copy of the updated schedule? B. Yes, at the next station. C. There's a repair shop on Lancaster Avenue. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, welcome to Gonzalez and Partners. Hi, I'm from Fedorov Portraits. I'm here to take the staff photos for the firm's website. Oh, great. We've reserved a conference room down the hall for the photo shoot. Thank you. There's just one thing. I have some heavy lighting equipment to bring in from my truck, and the only free parking space was several rows back. Do you have a cart I can use, or...? I don't, but take this parking pass. You can use it to park in the VIP spot right by the front door. Thanks, I'll do that now. Number 32. Who most likely is the man? Number 33. What is the man concerned about? Number 34. What does the woman give the man?
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, Barbara and Nancy. Now that our design's been selected for the new parking area at the airport, we can move forward to the next step. Barbara, do you have any updates? Yes. So now we need to consider residents in the surrounding neighborhoods. A preliminary survey showed their biggest concern is the potential increase in traffic. Nancy, do we have a meeting set up at City Hall for residents to discuss those concerns with us? Yes, on October 2nd, but in a new location. The room at City Hall was too small for this purpose, so it'll be held at the high school auditorium instead. Number 35. What will be constructed at an airport? Number 36. What is the resident's biggest concern? Number 37. Why has a new meeting location been chosen? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for coming to see me, Helen. How are things going in your new position? Great, Taro. Thanks for asking. The management training that Human Resources provided was very helpful. Good. Since you're now part of the management team, I requested a corporate credit card for you. It just came in. Here it is. Thanks. I should use this for small day-to-day -day expenses in my department, like office supplies, right? Correct. By the way, for bigger expenses, like when you're traveling to a conference, you'll need to fill out an expense form when you return. So it's a good idea to save all your receipts. Number 38. Who most likely is the woman? Number 39. What did the man order for the woman? Number 40. What does the man suggest the woman do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Martina. I'm going to a conference in Los Angeles next week. Oh, that's where I'm from. That's why I mentioned it. I'll probably be too busy with the conference to see any sights, but at least I can eat some good food while I'm there. I was hoping you could recommend some restaurants to try. Of course. Do you know where your hotel is located? That way I can recommend places that are nearby. I don't remember, but the address must be in the confirmation email from the hotel. Let me pull it up right now. Number 41. What will the man do next week? Number 42. What does the man want the woman to recommend? Number 43. What does the man say he will do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. I wanted to talk about the results from the online customer questionnaires we sent out last week. I know you've been exceptionally busy, Mario, but have you had a chance to look at the data? Yes. In fact, I just finished the report. I'll present it to the sales department later today. Already? Fantastic. Did you want me to look it over before the meeting? The report's only half a page long. Ah, OK. Oh, I wanted to remind you to book us a table at your cousin's restaurant. The sales team wants to go there after the meeting tomorrow. Sure. I'll do that now. Number 44. What does the woman want to discuss?
Number 45. Why does the man say, The report's only half a page long. Number 46. What does the woman remind the man about? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Mount Elephant Department of Parks and Recreation, how can I help you? Hello. I read about your tree planting initiative and I wanted to learn more about it. Sure. Our department is now offering residents the opportunity to have a tree planted on their street in honour of someone special. It's part of our city's new beautification project. That's great. How can I make a request to do this? You'll need to fill out an online request form from our website. After you put in all your information and submit the form, you'll receive weekly email updates. Number 47. What city department does the man work in? Number 48. Why is the woman calling? Number 49. What does the man tell the woman to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Rohan, I have a question about the production of our new model KT17 wireless headphones. I just reviewed the quarterly sales report. They're selling even better than we expected. Yeah, I've heard consumer demand is increasing for those. That's what I wanted to discuss. Do you think we'll need to hire some temporary workers for the factory floor? I'm concerned that we won't be able to keep up with the demand over the holidays. We do have a lot of existing inventory ready to ship, so we may not need to hire more people. I'll get an exact count of how many KT-17 headphones are available for shipment and let you know this afternoon. Number 50. What did the woman recently review? Number 51. What does the woman ask the man about? Number 52. What information will the man provide this afternoon? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Miss Chowdhury, I'm glad I caught you before you left for the day. About our meeting tomorrow. Yes, it's in the afternoon, right? We have to go over your designs for the new advertising campaign for Softwell Shoes. I'm sorry, but unfortunately I need to reschedule. I forgot that I have a doctor's appointment. Hmm. Since we're presenting our ideas to the Softwell representative next week, we should discuss them soon. Are you free in the morning instead? At 10 o'clock? Yes, that works. OK, great. Oh, and could you post the images in the shared folder? I'd like to look at them in advance. Sure. I'll take care of that now. Number 53. What project are the speakers working on? Number 54. What problem does the man mention? Number 55. What will the man do next? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Welcome, everyone, to your second day of training to be an industrial fabric worker. You did a great job running the sewing machines yesterday. Before we get started... Do you have any questions? This isn't about the training, but this morning my security badge didn't work. The guard had to let me into the factory. Okay, 
I'll follow up with you about that later. Any other questions? Miss Park, yesterday you showed us how to make a castle knot on the machine. Could we practice that? Of course. Let's practice that knot. It's essential to sewing almost all shirts. Turn on your sewing machines. Number 56. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number 57. What did the man have a problem with this morning? Number 58. What will the speakers most likely do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Dolores. I know we were supposed to review applications for a medical assistant today, but I'm still working on my presentation for the International Surgeons Conference next week. No problem. I've presented at that conference before. You'll need to be prepared. So, should we reschedule for next week? Actually, why don't we just postpone hiring someone until next month? That would work better for me. But don't we need someone sooner? No. Jerome just told me he could stay until we find his replacement. Number 59. What field do the speakers most likely work in? Number 60. What does the woman mean when she says, I've presented at that conference before. Number 61. What do the speakers agree to do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and catalog page. Thanks for calling Rose Mound Pottery. How can I help you? I'm interested in ordering some dishes that I saw in your catalog for my new restaurant. They're the ones with a large star in the middle and smaller ones around the edge. Yes, I know the ones you mean. Did you notice that pattern's a limited edition? Oh, no. I hope they're still available. The grand opening for my restaurant is in May. Yes, they're still in stock, but I know that pattern will be discontinued at the end of the year. They'll be hard to replace after that. I'm glad you told me. Then I'll order extra ones now. Number 62. Look at the graphic. Which dish pattern is the man interested in? Number 63. According to the man, what will happen in May? Number 64. What problem does the woman mention? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and ticket confirmation. Taggart Railways, how may I help you? Good morning. I have a question about a reservation for a trip to San Francisco. The confirmation code is 0146H. Okay, let me look it up. I see you have three tickets. That's right. I was wondering if there's a train leaving a day earlier, but at the same time. Let me check. Yes, there is, and the tickets are the same price. Perfect. Then I'd like to make that change. Okay. Should I use the email associated with your original reservation to send you the new information? Yes, please. Number 65. What type of business is the woman calling? Number 66. Look at the graphic. What number will be updated? Number 67. 
Number 67. What will the man most likely do next? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and comparison chart. Margaret, do you have any plastic zip ties? We used some to tie cables together when we installed the servers last week. Sure, they're on my desk. Need help with anything? No, I just need them to fasten some electronic trackers to my luggage. I'm flying to Shanghai tomorrow for a week to meet the new clients, and I want to be able to keep track of my suitcases while I'm traveling. I need one of those. I misplace my keys all the time. How do you decide which one to buy? The most important feature for me is battery life, so I bought the one with the longest lasting battery. Number 68. What does the man ask the woman for? Number 69. What is the man doing tomorrow? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which brand did the man buy? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Are you looking for a location to host your next company event? Well, look no further than Morelli's. With our delicious food and private dining rooms, Morelli's is the perfect place for everything from small to large business gatherings. But that's not the only reason to choose Morelli's. We're famous for our friendly waitstaff. They are always ready to help. Planning to hold an event with food at your office? No problem. We'll bring the food to you. You can view our catering packages on our website. Number 71. What is most likely being advertised? Number 72. What is the business famous for? Number 73. What does the speaker say is on a website? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I have an update about the video game you've been working hard to develop. As you know, we'll be partnering with a video game publishing company to get our product on the market. I just received their initial contract, and I'm pleased to say the terms they are proposing are quite favourable. We're promised a payment as soon as we sign on. Our legal team wants to make sure the programmers are happy before they negotiate some other provisions in the contract. I'll send you the document later. Number 74. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 75. What does the speaker say is favorable about a contract? Number 76. What does the speaker imply when he says, I'll send you the document later. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following tour information. Thank you for joining me on this tour of our solar panel manufacturing plant. Here at Nature's Solar Energy Incorporated, 
We believe our customers should have the chance to see the production of the solar panels that power their homes and businesses. Before we begin, I want to remind you about our main safety rule. Make sure you wear the hard hats we provided and keep them on at all times. Okay, our first stop will be in the showroom. I'll show you the latest models of our solar panels so you understand exactly how they work. Number 77. Where is the tour taking place? Number 78. What does the speaker remind the listeners to do? Number 79. What will the listeners see first on the tour? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following broadcast. Thanks for tuning into Business World. On today's episode, we'll be taking a deep dive into the topic of making a career change. Transitioning to a new industry can be challenging. It's important to highlight any transferable skills you have to offer. What abilities do you currently possess that could be useful in a new role? And how can you promote them on professional networking sites? To help us explore this, So He Chung, Chief Executive Officer of the popular job search app Zantage, is joining us in the studio today. Welcome, So He. Number 80. What is the focus of the episode? Number 81. What does the speaker say is important? Number 82. Who is So He Chung? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Adriana Ortiz, set designer from the Summer Theater. We met last week. Since you're directing the new play we're featuring, I'd like to get together to discuss some ideas I have. I've read the script and started sketching possible backgrounds we could use. You mentioned being concerned about the short amount of time we have for creating a set. Well. We have a large team, and there are lots of props in storage. I'm going out of town to see some relatives tomorrow, but if you're free to meet this weekend, my schedule's flexible then. Number 83. What is the message mainly about? Number 84. Why does the speaker say, we have a large team. Number 85. Why is the speaker unable to meet tomorrow? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Welcome to Cornerway Industries. I'm Sunita Yadav, coordinator of the internship program. I'm sure you'll find your summer experience here rewarding. Before we begin the first training session, we have to take care of some administrative matters. As you entered the room, you received a packet of documents. It includes information about logging into your email and submitting timesheets. I'll briefly go over those procedures now. Then, in an hour, you'll head to the security office to get identification badges. You'll need those to enter and exit the building. Number 86. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 87. What did the listeners receive? Number 88. 
Number 88. According to the speaker, what will the listeners do in an hour? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Last month, I went to a conference that allowed me the opportunity to meet other small business owners from the region and have discussions with them. A number of helpful ideas were exchanged. For example, several speakers pointed out that it can be difficult for customers to navigate corporate websites especially when looking for information like a phone number they can call when they need service. I've asked the IT department to redesign our website to make it more navigable. If you look up here, I'll demonstrate the new layout that'll go live in a few weeks. Number 89. What did the speaker do last month? Number 90. What do some customers have trouble locating? Number 91. What will the speaker do next? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following speech. Thank you all for coming to this town hall meeting. I'm the Mayor of Madison, and the first topic on our agenda is tourism. We're all very excited that the documentary about our historic town centre, which was filmed here last year, is a box office success. My office has already received hundreds of inquiries from travel agencies around the world asking about hotel capacity and tour buses. Good news for local businesses. However, some people are wondering about the damage that the influx of tourists on their streets may cause. And they do have a point. Those roads weren't designed for traffic. Number 92. Who is the speaker? Number 93. What happened last year in Madison? Number 94. Why does the speaker say, Those roads weren't designed for traffic? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and store layout. Attention book lovers! The Regal Reader Bookstore is excited to announce the beginning of its summer author series. Join us this Friday when renowned author Karima Samir will visit the store to read from her books, sign copies, and chat with customers. Stop by our history aisle to find her latest book about fascinating North Africa. And make sure you enter our annual drawing while you're here to win a $5 gift card for our cafe. Use it to purchase any of our freshly brewed coffees or homemade pastries. Number 95 According to the speaker, what will happen this Friday? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which aisle does the speaker direct the listeners to? Number 97. What can the listeners win? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and notice. Hello, Ms. Kapoor. My name's Mark Giordano. I'm a forklift operator in the shipping department. I'm calling because I'm supposed to complete the training session on refueling equipment but I need to change my date. I signed up for the session on January 23rd, but our department just received notice that a large order will ship out at the end of the month. I'll have a lot of work to do earlier in the day all month, so I can only attend the session that starts at 3 p.m. Could you reschedule me? Please let me know. 
Number 98. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 99. What will the speaker's department be doing at the end of the month? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which session does the man request to attend? This is the end of the listening test.